got a place to stay, invite to sleep on the couch. We eating off each other, trade the dollar men you amount. This video, we're discussing layups. From crazy double clutch layups, to wild spin layups that definitely should have got blocked, to once again, crazy double clutch layups. I mind you, there are some pretty smooth layups in the game, and layers that you probably want to see once again, but you have no actual control on how you finish said layup, or really even if you go for a set layup. It's almost as if when you go to the rim, you just smack buttons and hope for the best. For example, take this possession. I stole the ball from DeMar DeRozan and I wanna go for a Euro step layup and cut him off, you know, seal your defender off, go for the lane. Instead, I go for a reverse windmill layup and finish on the other side. Now, there's a lot of times when you go for lays, try to go for a Euro step layup, spin layup, and or even a regular layup, and you have no control of what you're doing because they'll just drag you into an animation of whatever layup they want you to do. You will probably go for a spin layup and they'll make you do a 360 layup. I can't even speak on pro hop layups because pro hop layups are not even the game. I haven't seen a pro hop layup probably since 16. The only time I've seen it in 18, it was a glitch. That's probably why we cannot get Jamal Crawford's layup package because I don't see pro hop layups in the game. You just hop to the rim and just tap square, tap square, tap square, tap square, keep pump faking, and then you jump into a dunk or a disgusting floater-like layup hook shot. jump into too much animations, not a lot of free-flowing animations or animations that just are allowed to play out. There are times when you do a certain type of layup that you wish you would see again, or you know, you're on the break and you wish you could break out that filet layup pack or that T-Jazz layup pack, you know, or even a regular 360 layup or, you know, a regular jelly layup or a regular finger roll but you honestly have no control over what type of layup that you want to do you get you get me you have no control of how you want to finish said layup for instance there's some guards that you know they know they're not bouncing so they'll go for a through the legs layup i know you remember playing nba street 2 and biggie littles get a dunk so he'll do the little through the legs layup or or pistol p they'll both do the little through the legs layup We should have an option to take the risk of if we want to do a flashy layup or if we want to do a regular layup or a right hand layup or a left hand layup, you know? We should have that option and be able to live with the choice and the decision that we made rather than being sucked into a layup animation that we did not want to do. There needs to be a clear distinction in what layup package that you actually have because no matter what layup package you choose you get the same exact layups you choose james harden it's not as if you get amazing euro step layups or you know amazing side step layups no you get the same regular layups you choose Kyrie Irving, it's not as if you get a whole bunch of crafty layups or you know i would say exotic finishes at the rim it's not if you choose Derrick Rose layup, you know, you get a whole bunch of pro hop layups and windmill finishes at the rim. It's not, a, I can't even say nothing about Jamal Crawford because you, you you can't even choose this man lay pack. Only person who's lay pack, you see a clear distinction and you know that it's theirs would be filet because he's evasive, he's very crafty and you could always, always somehow pull out a nice little jelly layup. Everyone else's lay package and lay palette is the same for the most part. Even T. Jazz's lay package 
is the same. The only difference with these Jassy layup packages, that 720 layup, where you know that crazy 360 layup, that if you do that in game or in traffic, nine times out of ten, that's going to end up in row ten. What I'm saying is we should be free in the type of layups that we want to do. We should have more control over the layups that we want to do rather than just running to the rim, smacking buttons and getting our shots smashed on or missing layups every time. It's almost as if there's no point in having layups at all. All in all, we need more control in our layups. We need to actually be able to choose how we finish at the rim, you know, and when we finish at the rim. We need more diversity in the layups because we should actually see a difference in the packages that we choose. I don't want to be able to choose the same package as someone or the same package as a guard and, you know, there's no actual difference in our layups. If I choose Jonas's layup package, I don't want to be laying the ball up as if I'm Bradley Bill or Goran Dragic. I want to lay the ball up like I'm Giannis, you get me? And we need to bring pro hop layups back. I don't know what happened, but this whole running to the rim, jump stopping with a plethora of spams of square, and then jumping into a dunk or a 360 floater or a 360 layup, it has to stop. It, it got to stop, bro.